que es la que hay. My name is Wes and welcome back to my vlog. So today's episode, I'm enjoying a pretty gorgeous day in Germany, and uh, but I'm running out of time. There's a lot of shit that I have to do uh, before we leave Germany, and I feel like I don't have enough time. Um, I had to get ready to ship the my wife Civic. I was able to change the oil for the RSX, but the RX7 is still not ready. And this one is gonna be my daily after Wednesday. Wednesday I'm shipping my wife Civic to the States and this shit is still not completed. Still have to do two wheels uh, I have to replace the spark plug wire replace new clamps charge plug cam uh, clamps and then yesterday I warm up the RX-7 and uh, let it run for a while until the temperature uh, reaches certain temperature to see if the fan radiator fans uh, kicks in and just checking you know cooling all that and I realized one of the fan motor was in uh, running the same speed as the other one uh, the RX-7 fans work as a single unit so that don't supposed to happen and now I have to figure it out the issue is that this car is the last part. So what I'm gonna do, and it's Sunday, so here in Germany you can, you can, uh, on Sunday you have to be quiet, you can even watch the cars on Sunday. But I have this silencer, I'm gonna put it in, try to quiet it down, and then see if I can figure out the radiator issue with the fan. So this car is a project. Uh, I bought it like that and I haven't been able to go over everything. I don't even know if the fans are the stock ones. So if you guys know the shape or know them, just comment below to see if those fans are the stock ones but this car is single turbo front mounted intercooler and as you know rx7 especially this type of engine the reu uh, they run hot as fuck so preferably it's better if you do the v mount to try to cool the temperatures in the engine bay but I don't have I have front mount intercooler plus the radiator. Uh, I know it's aftermarket as well. I don't know which brand. And uh, the wires, like once I get back to home, I, start, I need to redo the whole wiring. I want to like talk this shit, do it better. You see these cables hanging and it look weird as fuck. Um, and then what I did yesterday, I took out, I don't know if you guys can see it, the cover for that to identify the cables. That plug goes to this uh, this motor, which was the one that was acting weird. And uh, so I'm gonna do some troubleshooting. I removed this bracket. These four uh, relays are the ones that control the speed for the fan. Uh, and there's a trick that the FD owners do. They turn on the AC uh, in the dash, in the button, uh, even though they don't have AC. And apparently, if I turn on this shit on three uh, and turn on turn this on, the fans will kick in a certain speed. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of shit that I need to do. This was these cables were when I was tuning the car with Data Logic, 
Daralagi, I, I guess is how you pronounce that. And uh, but I wasn't able to tune it the way I wanted. It. I had to reboot the PFC uh, in the mount. And yeah, there's a lot of shit to do, and I don't feel like I have the time. Again, remember, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and press the bell button, and uh, yeah, enjoy, enjoy today's episode. See you later. This car have an issue with uh, grounds or electric problems because you see how the RPM react uh, it's not accurate uh, and then the mileage uh, gauge wasn't working and then all of a sudden start working and then even though I have coolant it's giving me a warning so this this <laughs> is a project I love it. This is what I like anyway. That's what we like. But I have to put a couple hours, uh, a couple days to make this car the way I want it. But um, so on the PFC, I add speed because it, the gauge doesn't work. The battery because the issue with the grounds, this car has the Viper uh, alarm. And if I let the battery connected for certain days and I don't turn on, it will drain the battery. So I have to figure out that out. Uh, so I like to check the voltage of the battery and then the water temperature. That's what we want to focus today. What did you say? It's supposed to engage, I believe it's 105 degrees from stock but again this is a project I don't know what they did so I'm gonna find out I'm gonna wait until probably 90 degrees or 80 something degrees to see where the fans are gonna kick in there's another trick with the power FC uh, that you can uh, make the fans engage earlier but I don't have Data log again uh, with me right now. That's the only way that I can check and see at what point uh, they tune it to turn on the fans. And the AC trick that I mentioned before. So we'll see. Okay, another update. So this time, none none of them engage. None of them turn on, and I let it go all the way to 100 Celsius. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the battery. I'm gonna test each motor. But since yesterday one of them was fine, uh, it might be a blue uh, a relay or something like that because. There was a change in RPM, uh, or something happened weird at some point, and then uh, the idle smooth smooth out a little bit, but at higher RPMs. So I'm gonna test each motor, but I don't think that's that's the cause. All right. 
So just tested the fans, uh, especially the one that was acting weird yesterday, and uh, both work. That's what I assume. The issue now is uh, my multimeter battery is dead, and it's Sunday. So let me see where can I find a battery so I can start testing the relays. Yep. All right. So another update. I tested. Uh, the fuse, the relay, should I say, the ones that are on the driver side, and it's driver side because this one is right hand drive. Um, they were good, but then I found out that the uh, fan cooling system, what's the name of this shit? Cooling fan relay, the 60A, uh, is fucked. So this is the issue apparently, but I have to find out why this shit exploded. Uh, it can be a ground issue or I don't know. I have to find out. Um, the way I found out if the relays two and fourth, which is kind of the first step to do, are good and the 60 uh, was you go to the this small let me turn on so uh where the relays is if your car is not modified mine's still stuck here uh the data link connector is this one it says diagnosis and what i did i jumped the ground and tfa and that's the the fans are supposed to kick in and they didn't so i've Look for a 60A relay, which was this one. And I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me see if I can focus. Yep, bam. It's fucked up. So I was checking uh, the motor as well. And this power steering line, I think it is, or probably oil line, it was heating that uh, the cables and the connector, uh, those two wires that goes to the this side motor, uh, and the connector doesn't look that great neither. I'm gonna see the the motor turn on earlier, but that might be an issue as well. So I keep looking. So I separate the, the line, the steel line, which I believe is, I think that's oil line that goes to the two oil coolers in the front. Uh, I was touching that area. So I separate that. Uh, so I just testing to see if the fan will work. Uh, I just jump where the fuse was for a short period of time. And then I jump where it says, ground on the bottom and TFA together. So before that, there's two ways. This one is a right hand drive Japanese version. So it doesn't have the recall uh, made that Mazda fix that makes the, the fans uh, turn on for a while a certain temperature when you shut down the car. Uh, so it's not like that. So you have to put the key, the ignition key in on, 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 and then you jump the TFA area and the ground that should kick in the fence. And I did just did that. And both of them started working. The right one kind of start started like laggy or slower but then it catch up in speed. So I assuming the connector where the motor is, is not that great. So that will have to be replaced. Uh, I had to find the 60A fuse to put it there and uh, that should fix the issue at least for now. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna replace the spark plugs wire, NGK for new ones. 
I'll see if I can replace all the turbo charge clamps um, put the mud flap I paint them the rear ones and uh, see if I can finish sanding the third wheel so I can start painting tomorrow and hopefully this car is ready by Wednesday all right that's all for today guys I hope you guys enjoy it and you got a little bit of knowledge yeah you know how cars are especially their projects so a lot of things to do but that's more uh, excuse for more content for the channel please remember to subscribe don't leave don't go to another video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please press the bell button if you have any questions you can contact me on facebook instagram or twitter at tony west diy or you can send me an email to tony west diy at gmail.com i appreciate your support and until the next one Thank <laughs> you.